We have no new cases tonight, but the fallout of a COVID scare is still being felt across our city. Qantas flights were grounded and more exposure sites are emerging amid a virus testing blitz. A single unusual case. Still a familiar public response. Queues forming last night at the Joondalup testing clinic growing again this morning. I've got a friend who was, who's a casual contact. Um, I've probably seen them over the last couple of days. So when the list came out, I thought, well, best I get myself tested too. Since the announcement of case 1059, more than 7,000 people have been tested as the list of exposure sites grows. But I've had both my vaccination shots, so I'm less worried for my family. Qantas staff caught up in the airport hotspot, triggering the cancellation of eight regional flights from Perth. Overnight, I can confirm there were no additional cases of COVID-19. CCTV confirming the FIFO worker most likely caught the virus after walking past an infected traveller at the airport on July 20. That's as far as we're aware the only interaction. The man in his 30s returned from cloud break on the 27th and took a mandatory rapid antigen test on Monday in order to work at another FMG site. Multiple private pathology machines returned a weak positive result for COVID. The swabs were then passed to Path West for further analysis on Tuesday, again showing a weak positive. He was only deemed negative later that day after a more accurate PCR test. Rapid antigen testing does have clearance from the health department to be used by different players uh, in the private sector. It's, it's uh, used as a screening tool, however. It's not a diagnostic tool. The WA public only advised on Wednesday afternoon. We were, um, ad as I said, advised uh, yesterday morning uh, about the issue and the chances were, even though his final test was negative, the chance was sometime after the 20th he may have been positive. 83 close contacts have been identified and will quarantine for 14 days. But with his girlfriend, housemate and three closest work colleagues already negative, it appears another lockdown has been avoided. We've done so well here in Western Australia. We don't see our, want to see our hard work undone. The Greenwood Village Shopping Centre is the biggest new hotspot. Visitors on Saturday told to monitor for symptoms and get tested if they were at the Coles supermarket, Lewis Meats Butcher or Baker's Delight between 2.30 and 3.45pm, while Market Space Wine Bar in North Fremantle and South Bank Day Surgery in South Perth have also been added to the exposure list. We're not out of the woods yet. And Joshua Dorr is at Perth Airport tonight. Josh, how has FMG responded? Swiftly, Michael, testing all workers on site with rapid antigen kits. And they have all so far returned negative. But all workers who are or have returned to Perth will also be required to get a PCR test and isolate until that is also confirmed as negative. And that is all workers, not just close contacts of the weak positive case. As for Qantas, it's apologised for today's cancellations. All but one of those eight flights were rescheduled. But as for tomorrow's flights, there should be no further disruptions. Michael. Josh, thank you.